Travel Pro checking in from the Saint Antoni Mercado here in Barcelona, Spain. Now I was just at the um, Bocaria Mercado, which is right alongside the Rambla Street, and that is like the most touristed area in all of Barcelona. And uh, already a completely different vibe. It's around 5.30. The other market, Bocaria, was topping. I mean, crowds, everything was open. Here the San Antonio Mercado is uh, closing. It looks like you know, everything's closing up for the most part. And the few shops that are open, we're going to go ahead and take a look at. So let's go and do exactly that. So this is pernil, or uh, smoked cured ham, basically. Look at the legs. <laughs> it really looks like an animal, doesn't it? compared to nice cuts of meat. Um, yeah, so let's take a close look. They do cheese really good in this country. And one thing, hola senor. <laughs> uh, I can get a little sampler cup like this for about two euros. Good quality food in this country. It has lardons, interesting. So we'll go ahead and pick up at another booth that's open. Okay, so here we have some fruit, and look, right out of Thailand, imported jackfruit. This is my, like this is really like one of my favorite fruits. Um, juicy fruit gum was actually uh, created in the flavor of jackfruit, and uh, it's tasty. So if you had juicy fruit gum, you kind of know what jackfruit tastes like. It's just kind of like a sweeter version. Now, as I started this video talking about the Bocaria mar market. Um, this market, I can already tell, is for the locals, and the price is already maybe 20 to 50 percent cheaper. Everything. Again, we can see more of this, and this is like such a big deal in this country. I didn't, I knew it was popular. I didn't know it was this popular. Like this cured meat is just like the thing, and then like fine cheese. This is the country of tapas, Spain. Let me take a close look. Pause the video if you want to see the prices and so on. But this is all different kinds of cheese, like really good quality. Take a look at that meat just like hanging there. And I did get into a conversation with uh, a local here just now, and he was saying that yes, that's exactly right, the Bocaria is like for tourists, and you can expect to pay more for everything there. And yeah, everything's just like really clean. It's like cut nicely, prepared nicely, displayed nicely. You go to places in South America, Peru, Ecuador, go to Vietnam and Southeast Asia. You know, it's not like this. It's definitely not like this. You have sanitary issues and you just have meat hanging on hooks and just flies all around. And, you know, this is like a first world touch to like a to like an old world style of of, of selling food and preparing food and displaying food. And I really like that. It's a world away from Walmart back home, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's for sure. So this is a closer look at how it's done. And right here is a menu for wine. So this is like a, it's not only a food, it's like a lifestyle. So you come here, you have some wine, and you eat some fine meat and cheese. You know, this booth is selling nuts and prunes and dates we have hazelnuts which is uh 19 dollars 19 kilo 19 euros a kilo excuse me pistachios are 18 per kilo these nice walnuts are 19 per kilo and again you can see most of the market's closed but we're still getting an idea of what's happening here yeah so here we can see the spanish olive and they do this so well. It's all part of the tapas ensemble. I look, they even have pickled garlic, which is really a favorite of mine. I really enjoy that. I had a lot of that in Ukraine. You can see the quality of food here, it's fantastic. And there's also a part of this market that's selling clothes and shoes, little shoes for babies. I guess this is the uh, baby section. I'm always much more interested in the food, so we'll probably go back to that or probably wrap this video up now.